So I'll just run you through my uh, edit of photographs from this game. Um, a lot of stuff to go through. This is my first initial edit. It took about 20 minutes, so some of this is going to be sped up. You can see I'm just looking through. We usually watch that top row for uh, the best shots, and I'll just go down, and I've got some hotkeys to mark the ones I like. And here, some of them will slow down, and you'll see some of the process. So as I see one I like, I'll blow it up for you a little bit like this. Pre-game action. And here I'm looking for something of Jordan Wynn as he comes off the field after the first possession. Just looking for different emotions, like if he's up, if he's down. You know, something that can tell the story of the game, however it ends up. ahead. This is at eight times speed here, so I'm not really this fast. Top right, you'll see the fourth down marker that I photographed just to let me know that's the end of that series. Visual note. A little tight on that celebration. Coach on the sideline. This is a series where I started shooting before I even had the camera lined up, so you'll see it starts out and goes kind of crazy, but then there's a nice uh, run down here to the end, near the end zone. And then after that, there's some nice celebration on the sideline. Crop it in uh, probably a little tighter, like this, to send in. And then here you'll see the pass and the reception. So you gotta be fast on a lot of these things. This is that touchdown run. So this is the tight version. We cropped it in uh, from this. And that was the one that ran on the sports page the next day. And you'll see the series here as he goes in. I've got a lens that's a little too tight. Here we start from here. But I can't switch off to my wide angle because it just happens so fast. If I switch off I'm gonna miss it. So you go tight and then you shoot the scoreboard after so you know that was the score. This was another one where it's a, it was a beautiful special teams play where these guys are just flying up in the air. So this is in real time. This is how I'm editing through which one do I like the most and you see how I back up and go forward and back and kind of compare each frame to the last and try and try and figure out which is the best frame. That's probably it with the ball and then these guys upside down. But I'm just going through each frame trying to figure out which one really works. It's a nice tackle here. There's a couple different options. Just comparing them. This one, he, when he gets hit, he gets knocked right out of the frame. You'll see here. Just push right out aside. And then uh, I was looking at those because I like the faces. I'm going for the face. It's a really tight shot, but I like the face. Then I noticed down below that I've got even more. I, I, once he gets knocked out of the frame, I catch back up with him. So I'm going through and looking for the face there. A little too tight. Sometimes they get close. Marking more as I go. And this is one where you see the player gets in front of me and kind of blocks the reception. Uh, and it wasn't a reception actually, which is good, but um, even if it had been, you can see right there Chris is already on the scene on the left side. He's got it. If I miss it, he's got it. So I'm not as worried as I would be if I was the only shooter at the game. Here I had the really low angle, getting the crowd behind him, just laying right on my belly on the ground. And this is that uh, touchdown play that I had blogged about earlier where I had this, this beautiful uh, view, except for the one part of my uh, field of view is blocked by this pylon, which I can't believe it ruined that frame, but 
Here's the whole sequence for you. By this time, the celebration starts and my camera's slowing way down because I've overloaded the buffer, so I'm just getting every shot I can, but they kind of celebrated away from me anyway. Starting to watch the crowd at this point a little bit for some emotion. Because the game's not providing it in the third quarter. This would have been another fun one to have because um, the ball kind of just either gets tipped away or goes right through his, his hands. So you can see I'm on it, but after he missed it, he just kept running. And I just stayed on him because, you know, what's he going to crash into? Who knows? So. <laughs> now, this is the pick in, uh, I guess, the fourth quarter. So as soon as he throws it, I see something's happening. I try and line it up, and I just hold the button down. And you can see I've got the pick right there, but the camera hasn't focused. The camera's not fast enough to do it so quickly and I just keep holding down the button and eventually the camera's going to catch up with the focus so then now I'm checking it out and is it is it there yet it's still not in focus until about this frame so sometimes you're faster than the camera and sometimes it's the other way around but it's really disappointing to have that frame be out of focus when you when you had it in in frame now we're to the end of the game some celebration, some interaction with fans. These are tough to get anything good out of because it's just kind of weird. But there's Mr. Red Eyes. And uh, that's pretty much the take.